Hello, Pisces. This is going to be your June reading. We're going to go over family, love, and money. I did want to let you guys know there is a website in the description below where you can book your personal readings. Um, and you can also look at other site, I mean, other services and products that I offer on the site. I am a little bit under the weather, so I may have to stop throughout the reading and drink some tea. Um, so I apologize about that. Also, if you're not able to hear me as well, it's because I'm a little under the weather right now. Okay. All right. So Pisces, we're going to get into how your family, love, and money is going to be looking for June. Get family, love, and money messages for Pisces. Family, love, and money messages for the zodiac sign of Pisces, please. Two accurate messages for Pisces, please. Family, love, and money, please. For June. Family, love, money, Pisces, for June. The King of Cups, the bottom of the deck. This could very well be you or um, a water sign that you may be dealing with. Nine of Wands, so that's good. Forward movement. Could be also dealing with a Sagittarius. Ten of Wands, releasing a burden for love. Star card for um, money here. Okay. So, money may be a little bit difficult this month for you, Pisces, um, with the star card being here. So, um, I mean, there's definitely some type of goal or some type of accomplishment that you um, are looking for with the star card here. There may be a wish that you have um, for a certain type of job or completion of some type of task, two of cups. Maybe a partnership, a business partnership or something here. Um, but there's definitely some work that needs to be done with spending. I feel like for some of you, um, you may be exhausting yourself financially or you may be coming out of a, a dark spot uh, financially. Okay, so if you are having any financial issues, um, I feel like things will get better, but it's just going to be a matter of time for you, honestly. Um, I really can't remember from your spring reading um, how your finances were looking for June, so I'm not even going to act like I can remember. Um... But if you are experiencing any financial hardships, it does look like there is going to be some good um, healing coming towards that. It's just going to take some time with the star card here. And the two of cups as well. There could be a partnership or some sort on the horizon for you. All right. So let's go to the ten of wands. And it looks like with the ten of wands, you're releasing some type of burden. It's been something that you've been holding on to a very long time. Um, it may be somebody that you were trying to be with um, or somebody that you were with for some time. And it's just been a long, drawn-out process to let this person go. With the Two of Cups also showing up, even though it's shooed up for love, I mean for work, it also could be that you're dealing with a twin flame or soul connection that is very hard to let go. Okay? That is what's possible here. But it looks like with this uh, Ten of Wands here, you will be letting that go. You will be releasing the burden associated with this relationship or this potential partner. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Also, if you would like a Pisces single reading, please um, comment below and let me know that you would like a, a Pisces single reading, okay? Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Ten of Wands. Three. Yep. What's more self-explanatory than that with the Ten of Wands? What's he doing, y'all? He's walking the hell away, okay? So there's something that you've been putting a lot of effort into, um... Love-wise, someone, and it, you're done. You're releasing that burden, okay? So, you know, Pisces, there's a lot of forward movement, okay? A lot of forward movement. For some of you, it could be a water sign, because I see water here, or fire. Why is the Justice card here? So, for family, could be dealing with some court issues for some of you out there. The Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So, that's really good. Um, so if you're dealing with any legal matters in June, it looks really good with the Ten of Pentacles. That's happiness for the family, um, karmic justice. You may be required to get some help from others when it comes to this uh, issue, this court issue for some of you or whatever it may be. It's going to require um, helping hands, okay? So either way, the Ten of Pentacles, it's really, it's looking good, okay? So if you have any... Um, 
court cases or anything coming up that you may have any questions about, get a personal reading, okay? So, because um, I know you may be having some anxiety about that when I see that with the justice card here, okay? And if it's not a court case, there's definitely something coming in for your family that it's going to be looking good, all right? For some of you, it could be what's going on financially for you, okay? Um, but... Yeah, all right, so looks good. Family looks good. Looks like some triumph, okay, where family is concerned. All right, so let's see uh, what's going on with you and your partner, Pisces, or whoever comes to mind when I do this spread. If you're not together, if you're in a situation ship, I know all about those. Whatever, all right. How is Pisces' partner and Pisces going to be dealing with each other in June? Can I get true, accurate love messages for Pisces, please? Ooh, that was an ugly shuffle. Try again. That was even uglier, but whatever, we're here. <laughs> true, accurate messages, whatever. It's 10.30-something at night. What do you expect? All right, all right. Oh, my God. Y'all see me shuffling earlier, fine. So, y'all know I can shuffle. All right, there we go. Huh. Pisces and their partner. Pisces and their partner. What's going on with Pisces and their partner in June? True accurate messages for Pisces, please. True accurate messages for Pisces. What's going on with Pisces and their partner for June? Pisces and their partner for June. Somebody's getting left out in the cold. I can already tell that from the cards I saw shuffling. For all y'all tarot readers out there, y'all saw them cards in there, that Five of Pentacles always, and that Emperor card. <laughs> all right, Three of Pentacles again. Seven of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. What's this? You've got the Tower card. Sorry, my camera's giving me some glare. Eight of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Y'all looking like Virgo's reading with this confused ass person. Mm. Devil card. Ooh, he's seeing them as the devil. Oh, okay. So somebody out here, um, King of Pentacles. Some of y'all out here being a sugar mama, sugar daddy to somebody. Somebody's draining you financially and needs to stop. You're doing too much for somebody. Okay, for some of you out there. It may not apply to everybody, okay? Um, but that's what that looks like here. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, but I really feel like for some of you, it's a financial situation where you're being drained. Um, or it's just a situation where somebody has, uh, they are with somebody. They have somebody. But why they're seeing you as the King of Pentacles is interesting. This could also mean that you're not interested or this could be somebody that you work with. Okay. Seven of Cups. Five of Swords. So they're seeing you, you. There was conflict with this person in the past, okay? This person may have stopped talking to you. I feel like for some of you, though, really strongly, especially the Pisces male, this person is somebody that you were supporting financially. And that's kind of what the basis of your relationship was. It's the Ace of Swords. The Eight of Cups. So you're doubting, Pisces, that you'll really get the truth from this person or that this person will even really speak to you. Um, some of you, this person's not speaking to you with this Five of Swords here, okay? The Eight of Cups is here, so um, you already saw that in your first spread, okay? So this person could be walking away from you, but you could be walking away from them, Pisces, okay? External to you, you have the Nine of Wands. So you have the Ten of Wands in love for your other relationships, I mean, for your other spread, for love, so um, that makes sense. Two of Pentacles, so they could be juggling somebody. There's somebody else for them. Either they're juggling or they're just making a decision. We'll clarify the Two of Pentacles. And we have the Five of Pentacles. What I say, tarot readers? Didn't I say I said y'all kept seeing that Five of Pentacles when I was shuffling? Y'all think I'd be playing with all these cards? I'm not playing. I would I just tell y'all? Somebody getting left out in the cold. <laughs> Five of Pentacles. That's pretty self-explanatory. All right. So, somebody's getting left out in the cold. Somebody's tired of the BS. Somebody was draining somebody either financially or emotionally. Pisces, you still see hope in this relationship. This person does not, okay? This person is definitely moving away from you. All right, we have the Tower card here. So... 
they're currently exhibiting this type of energy. They could be having tower moments in their life where they had a tower moment where you were concerned, where it was just like an aha moment where they're like, okay, I'm not dealing with you anymore. Or there was an actual altercation, argument, I hate you, whatever type of moment with between you two, okay? Um, now the Eight of Pentacles is here. So I feel like this person is heavily focused on money or heavily trying to focus on getting to the next level of something here. Um, it's definitely not with you. I'm not trying to be funny, but the, the Eight of Cups, no. Nah. Four of Cups is here. So you, if you're offering something to them, Pisces, they're not taking your cup. All right? They're very apprehensive about your cup. Your cup is probably better served with someone else. Somebody that actually appreciates you, okay? That isn't draining you either financially or otherwise, okay? Um... Why is the Two of Pentacles? And the Two of Wands is at the bottom of the deck, so I did want to point that out. We already know the Two of Wands is you're about to embark on a journey, okay? And you need to embark on this journey. This is something that you've been needing to do. You've been putting off, moving away from this person, whatever it is, okay? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? World card. So I think it's a decision to end things. Okay. If if in fact you don't um yeah, and then you guys are at the bottom of the deck or a water sign. Um I feel like if they're not juggling one of these signs, if they're not juggling um a Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, or a Leo, then it's making a decision to end things, okay, with the world card here, because this is an ending, okay? Um, you could be cool with this. Like, I know some of y'all are going to be, be, um, commenting and saying, you know, they can go. I'm happy to see them go. But, uh, this Ten of Pentacles here kind of tells me different. All right. The Ten of Pentacles tells me that you're still have you still have hope in this. Okay. They've probably even deceived you with the Seven of Swords and you're aware of it. Okay. But you're still holding on to it. All right. You may be aware of some deception. Okay. Let's see why this King of Pentacles is here really quick. Who's this King of Pentacles? Some of you are dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius, um, Leo, Taurus, or Scorpio. What's going on? Why is this King of Pentacles here for Pisces? Why is this King of Pentacles here? Six of Pentacles. Mm. I feel like for some of you it's a lack of, of equal give and take, but... Either you offered stability to the relationship or they offered stability to the relationship. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Ace of Wands. So somebody's getting left out in the cold for a new relationship here. Okay. There's a new relationship on board. It could be you, Pisces, I feel like, with the water sign here at the bottom of the deck. Who's this Ace of Wands? Why is this Ace of Wands here? Knight of Pentacles. So, um, could be Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, moving to another Earth sign. Um, the Ten of Cups is here. So, it looks like it could be a, a good relationship. Um, I'm going to pull some advice for you guys here. Yeah, somebody's fooling. Somebody is definitely not. Yeah, I don't know who it is, Pisces, but yeah, y'all might need to let that go. Okay. Can I get one card of advice for Pisces, please? And Pisces, make sure to comment below to, make sh to let me know if you want a singles reading. Just comment in general if this resonated, even if it didn't. Please like and comment. That is the best way to support my channel other than giving a reading. I would greatly appreciate your likes and comments and all your likes and comments that you've left so far. And of course, your subscriptions as well. I always appreciate that. All right. One card for Pisces, please. One card for Pisces for advice, please. Pisces. All right. Three of Wands. So... There's something coming in for you, okay? This is the second time I've seen this page of cups. It could be a slight offering from someone. Could have been somebody you're already dealing with, another water sign. Um, but you, something is coming for in for you, okay? Whether that be money, whatever you're waiting for, their ships are coming in. For some of you, I feel like it's heavily love. 
there's something else coming in for you but there may also be finances coming in or justice for some of you who are seeking that okay so i thank you so much pisces for watching your reading so far and look out for um your summer reading which will be coming soon and let me know if you want a singles reading okay if you need a personal reading um make sure to check out the website below okay bye guys